second problem a cube of side 50 mm rest on the ground and one of its faces with the vertical faces equally inclined to be so let us draw a cube with uh, its vertical faces equally inclined to be so it is on the ground so you have to start the top view first check the xy line draw the cube the projection is a square in simple position so first to draw a horizontal line then draw a 45 degree line put the other half you get a square as projection in the top view remember the square should be of equal length the side should be equal at the same time the included angle should be strictly 90 so the cube should be drawn in that fashion All the sides should be equal and the included angle should be 90 degree. So name this object. The top points are A, B, C, D and the bottom one 1, 2, 3, 4. Now given the base side as 50 mm. So this one dimension is sufficient to view the cube. At the same time, the vertical faces are equally inclined. So therefore, the equal inclinations are 45 on either side. This is 45. And here also you get 45. Now try to get the red view. Check the height, same as that of the base side. Then finish the rectangle. Now see the visibility. Follow the same procedure. Go to the extreme corners, draw horizontal lines. Whatever is below these horizontal lines will be visible. Above this horizontal line will not be visible. So the edge D will be visible and draw a dark line. Now the corresponding names can be placed in the front view as well. Put A dash. B dash is not visible. C dash is visible. B dash is visible. Similarly, 1 dash is visible. 2 dash is not visible. 3, two, three dash is visible. 4 dash is also visible. This is a very simple case. Here also, the cube is resting on the ground with its axis. Parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. So we are able to get the true shape, true square on the HP. So that's why we start the top view first, then we have projected the front view.